Hello everyone! For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I made these wings. So, I'm not going to be very detailed in um, showing you the steps or the patterns because we may have different sizes of wings. So, take note that the first step that you're going to do is to create a base of your wings made of a wire. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to do the base of the wings on my other or separate video tutorial. So for the meantime, let's begin with how I attached my crochet thing on my wings. The materials I used for this project are the following. In the fill yarns, 3.5mm hoop, garter, a pair of scissors, pliers, knitting needle, fabric glue which I did not include here and also the base of your wings so I'll have a separate video tutorial for this to begin attach your yarn on the wire and you can make use of a fabric glue to make it steel so for this particular wing I made 75 um, single crochets on this side so you can add or decrease depending on the size of your wings. Okay, so I just connected the two sides by making four single crochets and then continue with the 75 um, single crochets on the other side of this wing. Okay, so continue this part by skipping two or three chains. And then attach the yarn and then make a chain one after chaining one we will begin with one double crochet on the chains that we have created the four chains and then later is slip stitch on the second or ter uh, third chain for the meantime there will be no increases yet but as the space here at the center gets wider then you can increase but make sure that you will be doing those increases on the side and not at the center just like what I did on this part of the wing. Same thing applies when you decrease so make sure that you make your decreases um, on the last um, double crochets okay or you can have it on the first double crochet for the row.
Okay, so you'll just have to repeat the same process. So you'll have to chain one and then make a double crochet on top of each double crochets and then slip stitch after skipping two or three chains and then continue with um, a slip stitch or a slip stitches for two to three times and then chain one again and then proceed to the double crochets so you'll just have to do that repeatedly but uh, when there is a need to increase because you reached the wider part then you can do that but make sure to um, increase on the beginning of your row or at the end of the row Okay, so here on this row, you'll see the first time when I increased and I did that at the center. You see this? Okay, so this is my increase. And when I made the third and fourth part of these wings, I realized I should have done it on the sides because um, um, the increases are very obvious what I mean is when I finished this project and looked closely at the stitches I realized that the third and fourth part of this wing the bottom part are much cleaner or clearer because the increases were put on the sides okay well this upper portion the pointy ones um, I have made my increases at the bottom part or at the center so when I looked at it um, the stitches are clearly shown so the increases are very obvious unlike if you put it on the side What you're seeing uh, on my stitches here on the upper part are already the decreases I made. So as you can see, it's put on the center. Okay, so this time I will be showing you two ways on how I ended the, the stitches. Okay, so this is just one of them. Actually, I don't like how I ended this part. Um, I'm going to show you the easier way later. Okay, for the lower part, um, just do almost the same thing with what we did a while ago. You'll just have to chain one and then double crochet on the um, chains or stitches and then skip two or three st um, stitches and slip stitch.
Okay, this time you'll just have to cover that with yarn and then for the child to wear it, use a garter. Okay, so make sure to cover it this way until there's no um, wire seen on this part. And then after that, you're done. Okay guys, so here it is, the finished project. So I hope you like this video tutorial. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can be notified for the upcoming videos. Thank you for watching!